When will the High Priest return to us? Keep this between us, but I heard Lord Gideon was killed by demons. Surely that's not true. It most certainly is true. Hey, shh, they'll hear you. I know someone who works in the palace, and he said the demon was a girl with the head of a wolf and the body of a gorilla. But how could a demon have gotten into the palace? Apparently, there was a power struggle among the higher-ups, and Gideon's enemies snuck the demon into his villa. They say that's why people sometimes heard terrifying screams coming from the place. Oh, is the demon still there? No idea. Rumor says she escaped, but I wouldn't worry. There's no way she'd stick around here. That's what you think. She's right here, so you'd better watch out. Stop messing around already. The nights are so cold of late. It's gotten harder to get flamestone, too. I hear the port at Helavis is at a near standstill. No matter how much flamestone they mine from Mount Kelleraus, they can't get it shipped out. I'm sure the Abbey is aware of the situation. It's not just us who are suffering. We have to endure. Times like these is when we need to practice Lord Artorius's teachings. The many outweigh the individual. Exactly. I'm sure Lord Artorius will think of us soon and send aid. He doesn't give a damn about any of you. How dare you! The many outweigh the individual, right? Artorius wants to save humanity as a whole. Your individual troubles aren't important to him. You have no idea what you're talking about! Aren't we part of the whole he wants to save? What happy fools. Sorry about that. She didn't get to see his speech, so she's been taking it out on everyone around her. Really? What a troublesome kid! But really, that speech was incredible. <laughs> Eleanor, I need you to wait outside. The boss of the Bloodwings knows an exorcist is with us, but... Say no more. I'm sure they have clients who wouldn't appreciate their faces being known to the Abbey. Correct. Lafayette, you stay with Eleanor. Okay. I'll be back soon. My thanks for coming all this way. It's been a while. Would you care for a peach pie? What do you want? Oh. It would do you good to unwind every now and again, you know. Stretch a bow too far and its string is bound to snap. What do you want? <sighs>
I would like you to escort this person out of the capital. Something smells about this. Literally. Where am I taking them? Somewhere the authorities can't reach them. Sounds nice. I could do with such a place myself. No joke. We've been looking for a place to lay low, but we haven't had any luck yet. Well, come to think of it, I've heard a rumor that it's been a while since the Abbey has had any contact from Titania. Prison Island. Titania? But I thought the Abbey was in direct control of that place. Has the situation there gotten that bad since you left? Sometimes the answer is right under your nose. I think it might work. Yeah, could make a decent hideout, actually. The Therians could definitely get their fill of malevolence there. And the Abbey is far too goody-goody to imagine an escaped prisoner would ever return to her prison by her own free will. At the very least, I'd say it's worth checking out. I take it our intel has proven useful? It has. But before we go, have you heard anything about the Abbey harboring demons? I'm aware there was a demon in the villa, and that it has been relocated. Where? I can't say right this moment, but I'm sure we will find out shortly. All right, then in exchange for this passenger's safety, I want more information on that demon. You've got a deal. Aizen, I heard about your confrontation with Melchior. I'm sorry I wasn't able to help you find him. Yeah, you really blew that one, toots. It's fine. What's done is done. Have you given up on finding Eifried? No, I haven't. The crew and I will do whatever we can to quash the Abbey's plans. We do them enough damage, and the Abbey ought to start thinking about putting their hostage to good use. They'll set him up as a trap for us, and that's when we'll steal him back. Attacking the Abbey to create an opening for his escape. Clever. It's what Ifrid would do. That's all. Taking a while. Yeah. The Shepherd has a special mission for you. You are to protect the Malak Lafiset and bring him to the Logris Abbey headquarters. <laughs> What's wrong? Hey, you want to take a walk around the capital for a bit? I can show you some of the sights. But, um... You... You can't trust me. I understand. No, it's not that. I promise. I'd love to go sightseeing with you, Eleanor. Luffy said. Uh, well... We'll do it another time, okay? Why? It's just... You know, Velvet would get mad at us. Get mad about what? You're done. And who is this? A VIP entrusted to us by the head of the Blood Wings. We're stowing them away on Titania where the bad guys can't get at them. The prison island? Just who is this person? Didn't ask. What? <sighs> hey, something smells nice. Uh, uh huh? <laughs> Stop sniffing things. We're leaving. Who is that caped man? I do not know, but his hawk seemed extraordinarily well trained. Trained to hunt, maybe? I'd imagine. It takes a great deal of time and money to train a bird like that. <laughs> what is it? I smell something nice. Indeed. The scent is somehow familiar. <laughs> it can't be. 
Hmm? What are you two sniffing at? Aha! They're bloodhounds on the hunt! But we're talking about hawks hunting, aren't we? Come again? Oh, I'm sorry. Please excuse my poor manners. I can't believe you take a job without bothering to ask who you're escorting or why. The less you know, the less trouble you invite. <laughs> Scout ship setting sail. It's a history book titled The Rise and Fall of Midgand. About 800 years ago, our continent was conquered by a military force from another continent. Few records exist of the following 500 years, a period known as the Era of Darkness, or the Dark Period. Then 300 years ago, a great hero named Claudin Asgard reunited the kingdom, bringing an end to the Dark Period. Clauden, huh? Where have I heard that name before? All right, that's enough for today. Thanks for teaching me, Arthur. Your techniques are so amazing. Where did you learn them? They came from my own master, a man named Clauden. He developed them himself. Wow, they're so graceful. I wish I could move like that. <sighs> I've taught you the forms, but... For some reason, your execution deviates from the ideal. Uh, well, my body just kind of moves on its own. You're a handful, Velvet. But I will say you do resemble Clauden some. He was a strange person himself. He always wore this peculiar cape, for instance. A uh, cape, you say? Deep down, Clauden was strong like fire, vivacious like water, a steadfast like earth free like wind. I can't help but admire him to this day. Wow, I'd love to meet him. Sadly, that's impossible. Is he... dead? Yes, he is. He died to protect me. That's why I... No way. The events recounted in this book happened 300 years ago. It can't be the same Clauden. Uh, Velvet, are you okay? I'm fine. Don't mind me. King Clauden was quite strong, wasn't he? He was more than just that. He's the most well-loved and trusted king in our history. Or so the book claims. To this day, all of Midgan's rulers claim to be direct descendants of King Clauden Asgard. Knowing that, there might be meaning behind them bestowing Arcturus with the grandiose title of Shepherd. I could see it as an attempt to recreate the same glory enjoyed by the Hero King who ended the Dark Period. If that's true, it's a childish ploy. The world's not so easily changed. I wouldn't be so sure. What matters is that the title inspires hope in the people, who in turn give him their support. Then, as their shepherd, he can guide his flock in any direction he pleases. Hmm. <sighs> If Arturius knowingly accepted that title, we can be sure he's fully committed to his cause. Oh, he's certainly committed. I've seen just how far he's willing to go. This is bullcrap. You're gouging us just because you can. Well, if you want to pay less, maybe you should go find someone more generous, hmm? Looks like they're at it again. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Huh? What's happening? 
happening? Benwick, snap out of it! Benwick! Huh? I was haggling for supplies, and... Tell you what. I'll give you a fair price. Actually, just take what you need. <sighs> we should all endeavor to help contribute to the common good of humanity, rather than selfishly pursue wanton profit. What? Uh, are you sure? Uh... uh yeah. No! Wait! What was I saying? You felt that too, didn't you, kiddo? Yeah. It disappeared, but I felt a strong force coming from somewhere to the north. It's called a domain. A Moloch's zone of influence. Wait, if it's north of here, then... The Empyrean's throne? Did that happen because of something Inominat and Artorius did? <sighs> I don't know. I've got a bad feeling about this. We should get far away from here, and quickly. So... the suppression... Well, that was certainly off-putting. But our job with Tabitha comes first. And we need a hideout soon, too. True enough. Hey, geezer! You all right? What nonsense are you spouting, youngin? That's one spirited old man. Well, it's just that you suddenly got all polite on me, and you were all like, Oh no, good chum, worry not about your debt to me! I thought I said stop spouting nonsense! It's not nonsense. You did say it. I heard you say it. He did. But we were all acting strangely. You said, after you, fine sir. And I said, no, 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 I simply couldn't. You first, dear friend. There's no way in hell I would ever let you go first. Come to think of it, that's right. But he said not to worry about our debts and now he's taking it back? That's inhuman. Cruel. Ruthless. They lost control of themselves, but still have their memories. Maybe something was manipulating them. What in the world happened to us? I don't get it, but what I do get is that he said we don't owe him nothing. So my debt to you is off, right, old man? Same here! Same here! Shut your traps! I'd be flat broke if I let you knuckleheads off the hook. Now shut up and pay up! Something really strange happened here. Seems so. And I think this is just the beginning of it. All right, we're safely on the rolling waves. Don't you think it's time you showed us your face, mystery monk? <laughs> You're right. My apologies. I knew it! Prince Percival! Percival Il Mid Asgard. Crowned prince and heir to the throne of the Midgan Kingdom. So he's next in line, is he? It looks like someone already had me figured out. Yes, your highness. I could tell from your fragrant wood scent, as only the royal family may wear it. But if I may ask, why? Must I explain myself to gain your aid? I myself could ask what an exorcist is doing consorting with members of the underworld. I... I don't... It doesn't matter why you're here. On this ship, you're here for us to use to our advantage. Treat me as you will. It's not like I can ever go back. For a fellow born with silver spoons spewing out of his mouth, Princey Pooh's rather laid back. Prince Percival is an upstanding man renowned for both his intelligence and his fair, just demeanor. It's widely believed that with him on the throne, Midgan's prosperity will continue and... 
Look, I played dumb earlier, but I smelled that scent too. He wore it for us to notice. He wanted us to know just what sort of position he held, and how useful he could be to us. He surprised me at least. Do you think we're being led into another trap? We definitely can't take that possibility off the table. When the time comes, he'll make a good hostage, if nothing else. Not if the ones we face are after his life too. For now, let's just make sure we keep an eye on him. The Prince... He said he couldn't go back. I wonder why. The whole island's a prison. It's like a secret fort or something. Weirdly quiet, though. Yeah, I don't see a single exorcist on watch. Hmm. <laughs> Let's scope out the inside. 